Oh, that's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. I was going to try to do a really cool artistic thing. <laughs> Freaking heavy. <laughs> So this is ornamental pear, and it's been drying in my shop for about five years. I've had it in log form. It's very hard at this point, but I do have some pretty major checks and cracks in it, and I don't know how far down these go. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done some wood turning, and so we're just going to do a little turning here and see what this ends up looking like. starting to get into round here which means that it is becoming balanced and you can still see it's a grisly mess but um, there's a part of me that really likes that I like this bark inclusion here I like this crack uh, yeah and I'm starting to fall in love with this ugly little thing So Easy Wood sent me out a hollower. It's a CI5, I think. Anyway, and it's it's got a really small bit, so it's kind of made for this. We'll see if it does any better. Oh, oh baby! Look at that! So we're getting through it. It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard wood. So is this going to hold while we turn away this little nubbin and clean up the bottom? I have no idea. Oh, it's already loose. Oh, wow. Okay, so now it's totally out of wrap. severely at a round. I went ahead and turned the nub off, but the rest of this inside is going to have to be sanded by hand. Even saying that makes me sad. Well, I got most of the outside sanded up pretty well on the lathe. Inside is a very different story. You can see got lots of tear out in here and sort of uneven surfaces. I'm done with the power sanding. This bowl is now free of any tear out um, and major ridges. It's decidedly more primitive than I'm used to. You have more facets just because of the power sanding. I think that works for this bowl. So I started with 150, I've jumped to 180. I'll probably go to 220 and stop. It's 
absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm a fan of walnut oil. That looks great. When I was sanding it, I thought it was gonna be super primitive, but after getting all the way through to 200, I had pretty much gotten rid of all of the facets inside here. It feels very smooth, uh, both on the inside and on the outside. Um, I love the bark inclusions on it. Probably about 40 minutes of hand sanding. So, you know, not fun, but it's worth it. <laughs> it is definitely still a primitive bowl. We've got these cool bark inclusions and the cracks. Uh, on both sides, but it is a well sanded primitive bowl. Uh, and honestly, it was just nice to do some wood turning again. I do want to say thank you to Easy Wood Tools for sending those out to me. Without those, this would have been a much more difficult bowl to turn. And then I got some walnut oil from uh, Mike Mahoney. So really, the stars just sort of aligned and demanded that I made a bowl. Did you guys see my new sign? That actually came from Eric. He made that freehand with a router. Uh, the channel is called Dave Signs and I'll put a link in the description as well as in the end card to the videos of him making this sign. And he does it all freehand. Just follows the line on the router. I think it's a really cool addition to the shop and I want to just thank you Eric over at Dave Signs for making that for me. That's a really awesome gift to get in the mail. Lastly, I took another stab at making a shirt. I kind of like this with the circle We've got four different colors. If that's something that interests you, there's a link down in the description for those as well. <sighs> Lots of information. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you guys next time.